do it. Hey guys, this is Versatile from VST Power, now Halt and Proud of Phoenix Media. We got a really great PS3 CFW tutorial today. And what I'm going to show you is how to easily transfer files to your PS3 over the network using the FTP method. And you can do this through Ethernet LAN cable, which is the fastest, or you can also do this through wireless as well. So the first thing you want to do is make sure you have a modded PS3. Once you have that, of course, let's see what is your IP address of your unit. So if you go to System Settings, and this assumes your PS3 is already connected to your wireless or your home network. Go down to System Information, and we see that my IP address is 192.168.1.110. So I'm using the Rebug firmware 4.76.1, and by default it has the Webman mod installed. So the FTP service is already running in the background. So at this point in time, I could jump into my favorite FTP program, log into the PS3, and transfer files. And I'll show you how that works later on in this video. If you're not using Webman, let's say you want to use Multiman, for example, then what you can do is go to your game section and start the Multiman program. When you start the Multiman program, it will automatically enable the FTP service in the background. So once you log into Multiman, go ahead, start up your favorite FTP program, and then you can log into the PS3 while Multiman is open right here. So that's a second method of how you could do this. I'm sure there's other different methods of doing it, but those are the two popular ones, Webman Mod, and then also um, Multiman as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go back to the XMB screen and I'm going to use the multi-man, sorry, the webman mod and show you how that process works with the FTP program and why I like that over uh, multi-man. So with that said, let's jump straight into my computer and show you how this works in the next video segment. Let's do this. All right, so in this next portion of the video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to easily FTP into your CFW PS3. So I'm going to use a freeware program called FileZilla. You can go to the more info section. I have a link to where you can download that. Or if there's a different FTP program that you are comfortable with, by all means, go ahead and use it. So I'm going to go ahead, load FileZilla. I'm using the Portable Edition. At the very top, there's going to be a toolbar here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in that IP address, 192.168.1.110. In your case, it's going to be a different IP address. And click on Quick Connect. You can leave these other fields as blank and the program will automatically fill it in. On the right hand side here, we see that we have automatically logged into the PS3. So if I were to go to dev underscore HDD zero, here is all the different files that I can, or folders rather, that I can investigate and go into. So if I were to go into my PS2 ISO folder, here are some, some games that I have already transferred previously. Same thing with Grand Theft Auto, San Andreas. So I've done that before. If I go into my PS3, I don't have anything here because I typically load my PS3 games from my external hard drive. If I go into PSP ISO, if I had stuff here, I could transfer stuff into here. Or let's say uh, PSX ISO. Here I have some games here that I've copied over, over the network. If you want to transfer stuff over, let's say, for example, that let me just show you one example here. Let's say that I have a PS2 file, whatever that's going to be. I'm going to select this example file here. If you want to transfer files, just literally just left click and drag stuff over into the right hand pane and it will automatically transfer over the network. And here down here you see a log and it'll tell you if your transfer is successful or it's failed and why did it fail. And yes, you can copy and paste files over. You can also delete files on the PS3 remotely. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this one particular file right now on the PS3, delete it from the server, and yes, we do. So this is the Webman mod. If you were logged into Multiman, do the same process, the exact same screen here. Everything's going to look identical when you're using your FTP program. In my case, I'm using the FileZilla. So one of the reasons why I like to use Web, Webman mod is not only can I use the FTP program and transfer files over, but you can use like your Internet Explorer or Opera or your favorite web browser and also navigate through your file structure of your PS3 and also do some cool remote commands. So let me show you what that looks like. So here I am. I'm going to type in my IP address for the PS3, 192.168.1.110. Press enter. And you're going to get to this screen here. So this is the interface of the Webman mod. What I like to do personally is you can go to, um, you know, you can sort of browse, browse stuff here, browse your folder directory, and so on and so forth. And then you can also mess around with these different buttons here. If I click on game data, 
Um, okay, so that didn't do anything there. If I were to refresh XML, if I install new games, I can do that. If I want to refresh HTML, I can also do that as well. What's nice about this is if I have my cover art installed on the PS3, I can refresh it, and then I can do a double check and make sure that my cover art is installed properly for my different games here. Or you could go to the Games tab here. There's some different things up here. Um, if you go to setup, this is a real nice way, an easy way to set up your webman without having to use your game controller on your TV. So that's another way you can do stuff there. And then you can also do a remote restart or a remote shutdown. So that's pretty cool. So if I were to click on the shutdown button right now, my PS3 is literally going to shut down downstairs. And uh, there we go. I can't FTP into it until I turn it on manually. So that is a nutshell of the webman mod. But the core of the tutorial is... Basically, use your FTP program. You can transfer files over from your PC or your laptop, even your uh, mobile device into your PS3, and you're ready to have a lot of good times. If you have large files, I highly recommend you use a LAN cable, Ethernet cable, wired between your PS3 and all your devices, like your computer to the router to the PS3 through a wired network for the fastest transfer, of course. So that is today's video game tutorial. If you guys have any nitpicky questions, leave a comment here on the YouTube page, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.